Okay, here I have a uh, 2008 uh, 6T75E. Here we see the, the code. The first digit is the year model. Uh, common issues with this is that this wavy likes to break and it starts giving uh, issues. Uh, this unit here looks like it has already been replaced. If you look at the at the steel plate, I mean you can see where the broken wavy was uh, uh, causing a little bit of damage. Scoring, uh, there's nothing wrong with that steel. I mean just the wavy goes on top of it. And here you can see on the planet itself where it's been uh, rubbing. Also here on the sun shell, you can see where the broken uh, wavy plate was uh, rubbing as well and you can see it on this on the back side of the sun shell as well main issue here uh, he had some pressure switch codes and uh, another code I can't remember what it was but he had a three pressure switch codes uh, I'm gonna show you an old drum that I have what what damage that when that wavy breaks this is a damage that uh, the broken wavy will cause and this is uh, actually a new drum so they did replace the drum and they did replace the the wavy that was broke uh, and actually you can get this from uh, General Motors and they, they call it a filter kit and all the paper rubber rings and seals come with it now let's go over here sometimes you will get when you have a broken uh, wavy you will have a speed sensor code which is this one and uh, this is the turbine speed sensor and uh, it reads off of the, this drum here uh, and you have the, the wavy here all the pieces uh, all the metal contamination will get on the tip of the sensor and you will get that code now this transmission this is the transmission control module the TCM or TECM you know uh, as General Motors likes to call that uh, this is the controller itself uh, on Fords, Fords use the same uh, transmission, but uh, they call it differently. Ford doesn't have the TCM integrated into the into the valve body or into the solenoid block assembly like this. It's external. General Motors, it's inside. They look similar, very similar, but they're a little different. Now let's look at this. This is a pressure switch. It's broken. As you can see, this other pressure switch, it, it has also failed in here. It's the pieces of the pressure switch. This goes inside on, on that little hole right there. And then uh, you can see here. So this is a 6075E. Uh, this is actually on a Saturn Outlook, but you will find it on the GMC Acadia's. Uh, some, uh, it's a General Motors product here, uh, 6075. I've seen this before. I did a uh, not too long ago. It was a uh, uh, Chevy Equinox uh, Sport, and it had the same failed pressure switches. Uh, so this is a very common problem. I expect to see that. Besides the normal uh, stuff that happens to this, which is that wavy right there on this clutch drum here. I mean that that fails. All the frictions are in good shape. Nothing happened to this unit other than the pressure switches on that. Uh, on that uh, transmission control module. All right, well, here's another one, uh, 6075E, common issues with these things. And uh, they're uh, coming in the shop regularly. Actually, there's another one on the parking lot. Uh, there we have it, 6075E, common issues, transmission control module, uh, TCM, and uh, wavies that likes to break.